Good morning. It's a beautiful day here in Stewart, Florida, and we are at the Florida Oceanographic Coastal Center, and it is 40 acres of marine and natural wildlife, and we are anxious to see what we'll find inside today. So come along with us and let's see what God's Great Outdoors has to offer. Come on! shop at the Oceanographic Center and there's a telescope here actually there's two and uh, there are slides that have stuff about snails and uh, scales and all different kinds of things that you can look at at 80 times magnification there's also a thing here about uh, this is a horseshoe crab and there's all kinds of there's a fish tank here uh, this is an artificial reef habitat. There's seagrass display. Oh, and there's little seahorses in here. Oh, they're so cute. So you have to come see all this stuff. And there's, a, there's an oyster bed display. And here's different kinds of fish. Oh, but this is a, it's like a, uh, a plum scorpion fish. Isn't he pretty? He's got little eyebrows. He's beautiful. And there's crabs in, in this one and a fish. It's a striped hermit crab and a mangrove creek tree crab. Oh, so this is a dry land crab. Let me see if I can find the crab in this tank. There he is, he's moving. Oh, he is so cute. He's really traveling across the bottom of this tank. And let's see what's on the other side here. I have a nearshore reef display. And the whole place is designed for kids in mind. There's a coloring table for the kids. Well, and hello. My name is C. Turtle. And I'm here at the Florida Oceanographic Coastal Center here in Stewart, Florida, and uh, this is where I live. I got hurt out in the ocean. Uh, yeah, I used to be a wild sea turtle. Uh, those days are kind of over. Uh, my butt got hurt and hit by a propeller, and now it floats to the top, and I should be at the bottom, and, and that's not good when you're trying to stay away from sharks. So, that's it. They found me. They brought me here. They feed me great, gave me a good job. They, you know, I got a good contract, and I got a pretty good manager. So we're here at the Oceanographic Center here, and uh, we're located at 890 Northeast Ocean Boulevard here in Stewart, Florida at 34996. Yep. And our phone number, if you need to call for directions or any for any reason, you can call and just say hello. <laughs> I don't answer the phone. Uh, 772-225-0505. But you may catch me once in a while on the internet. So uh, that's www.floridaocean.org. Yep, we're pretty uh, high tech around here. And you get to feed some of the fish, and, and we have stingrays, and, and we got all kinds of educational things here to teach you about the ocean and the eco ecosystem that, that surrounds every place that you live here in Florida. You know, everything that goes on the land, ends up in the water. I thought that was pretty cute when they told me that. That was, oh, wow, that was cool. That's cool. Anyway, they'll tell you, you'll hear that here every once in a while if you, if you come around. So, I you know, come back and see us. And we're here open like six, seven days a week. You can call that. Yeah, call and say, when are you open? Okay? All right. Well, we'll see you then here at the Florida Oceanographic Center.
here in Stewart, Florida. Okay, thanks. As soon as you step out the door, you are immersed in a learning environment that your kids will really love. You see the tank that is uh, off to the side there when you come out the, the door? It's a tank that has stingrays. And in that tank, they will let you feed the stingrays and pet the stingrays. And within a few minutes, uh, the volunteer will show up. And they'll begin to teach you about these stingrays, that there's two kinds of stingrays in this tank, and uh, that they have these barbs and things that uh, they actually remove uh, so that you can actually reach into the tank and, and pet the stingrays and so forth. Uh, it's a very educational program. It's well worth the visit, and believe me, the kids will love it. They may not ever have seen a stingray, and they may have seen one at the beach, but... Uh, it's a very worthwhile trip. At the end of his presentation, he, he gave everybody some fish and said, uh, okay, go ahead and feed them if you can. And, of course, Miss Nancy, he wasn't really thrilled about it, but uh, as a good sport that she is, uh, she knew she wasn't going to get hurt, and she put her hands into the tank, and I guess she's not a good fisherman because they wouldn't even bite their free food. I guess you have to hold it a certain way and, and you see that they'll come by and but they wouldn't take it from her. And that's okay. I think she was glad that they didn't. But anyway, uh, well, special thanks to Miss Nancy for putting her hands in the tank. Uh, as you know, stingrays are the animals that uh, killed Steve Irwin, you know, the, the crocodile hunter. And he did a, a dumb thing, and, well, that's a different story. She finally got tired of being ignored, <laughs> so she just let the fish go and, and said, Go ahead, guys, just eat it. And they didn't. <laughs> they, they didn't even take it. I don't know what the story is, uh, whether they, they were giving her bad fish or, or maybe she had too much... Um, hand cleaner stuff on her hand. I, I don't know. Uh, she likes to clean her hands after or even before putting her hands into to water and things. So there was the fish laying on the bottom waiting for it and they wouldn't even abide it. They also had a hands-on display for sea urchins and other small animals that live in the surrounding waters. And they would kind of cool too and the kids could get in there and put their hands on them and and it was a good experience for them nancy really really liked the horseshoe crabs uh i guess maybe she liked them as a kid i don't know but they had a, a hands-on exhibit of horseshoe crabs they had some bigger ones and little ones and, and uh, it was just a lot of fun the kids really really enjoyed the hands-on experience with the crabs and they loved all the other crabs you know, when you get to be an old man like me, well, we really have no use for crabs. Then it was on to the sea turtles. They have a number of sea turtles that are back there that have been recovered from the wild, who have been injured and could no longer survive in the wild. At the sea turtle exhibit, they have a lot of great information about the sea turtles in this area. And it's on to the game fish. That's right, they have a beautiful, beautiful uh, estuary or pond, whatever you want to call it, set up. And they have all the major game fish in the Atlantic area around Stewart. 
you know, the different game fish that uh, you anglers like to go after. They even have some nurse sharks here that you can watch as they usually swim around and, and have a good time. Uh, you see the green water, that's because there's an algae bloom. bloom. Uh, the water is usually crystal clear until they have this algae bloom. lay and rest for a long period. So you might see our nurse sharks all cuddled up along the side of the lagoon uh, when you're walking around today. Now you can see all those jacks um, at the surface there grabbing the food. And you can tell our faster swimmers by that uh, E-shaped tail. Now the food is about 10 to 15 pounds per feeding and uh, yes it is plenty because these guys they have a very retirement style uh, life uh, so they don't need as many calories as they would in the wild especially because their food is handed to them every day and they don't have to uh, worry about escaping predators or finding prey uh, but uh, we have about two to three hundred different uh, critters in here uh, so, and you can walk all the way around the lagoon and see some that might not have come to uh, our feeding. Hello. I don't know if you know who I am or what I am, but I am a small manatee. Now, a manatee hangs around in, in Florida, which is where our home is in Florida. And we live in the canals and the, the fresh water streams and things, in, usually inland. But in the winter, when the waters get so cold, we head to the coastline to the to where the waters are are warmer and and we stay there for the winter and then we come back yeah and that's why we are who we are and that's why we do what we do uh, we uh, are air breathing mammals we really we're not fish but we live in the water we eat plant life and that's why it's so important that you're careful what what goes into the water a lot of chemicals and things get into the water and kills the the plants and things and that's what we eat that'd be like us going to uh your burger king or your mcdonald's and poisoning your hamburger machines and french fries machines and then you would go and, and eat and then you would die you know what i'm saying Okay, well, anyway, uh, if you want to know a little bit more about me or, or what I do and so forth and how I affect your, your ecosystem, I don't know what ecosystem is, but the people at the uh, Florida Oceanographic Coastal Center do, so stop by and see them and, and they'll tell you all about us and, and how we interact with them. They're at 890 Northeast Ocean Boulevard here in Stewart. Yeah, at Stewart. I don't know, Stuart. Anyway, it's in Florida, and it's 34996. Their phone number is 772-225-0505. Whatever a phone is, I have no, I've never seen a phone. And, but they do have a, right. Internet? What is an internet? Is that, I got caught up in an internet once, I think. Oh, that was just a regular net? Okay, but anyway. Uh, www.floridaocean.org okay okay and and stop by um, I'm not here and I don't think there are any manatees here now but but if they got hurt or somebody might have I mean they're close to being extinct I mean my mom and dad are extinct already uh, they were killed years ago <laughs> I know I'm sad too but okay I'm gonna go uh, I've got to go get in the colder water now. Okay. Bye. From all of us here at Great Outdoors Productions, we'd like to thank you for joining us. And we hope that you enjoyed these presentations. Uh, these people go have a, a lot and a lot of responsibility. And they're doing it for our good, for everyone's good. You know, these chemicals and things that get in the water are destroying the ecosystem and these people are, are putting their time and, and their efforts into making it better for all of us. So if you get a chance uh, and you're in the Stewart Hutchinson Island area, stop by and tell them that uh, you saw us here at Great Outdoors Productions. That's the Florida Oceanographic Coastal Center. It's a Hutchinson Island in Stewart and it's uh, open daily. So bring the family, you know, Family is what life is all about. But the animals, their family. You know, and, and God meant this world to be 
always. To bring up our family and to, in love and respect. And that's not a whole lot of that in this world today. But we thank you for joining us and hope you have a blessed day. This is Al Vine from Get Outdoors Productions saying, have a great day. Hi, I'm glad you stopped by the Florida Oceanographic, uh, I, what is it now? I'm sorry, I don't remember what it is. <laughs> okay, cut.